we have a significant stormwater project, Penn Branch Stream Restoration. Um, it is one of our larger urban streams within the city limits. It actually has about a little over three acres of watershed contributing to it. And it is, uh, that outfalls right above Lake Catherine. The goal is to have a stabilized bank because uh, it not only uh, includes masonry block, uh, which we're installing modular block uh, to replace some of the areas that have cracks, but also uh, laying back the banks and putting vegetation to stabilize those banks and riprap. So as storm events come through, we expect it to be able to handle those higher velocities without undermining the foundation and have a safer uh, channel for that stormwater to flow through. Our current project uh, is completing from Brentwood down to Woodlake, the whole section, uh, and that went to construction at the end of last year, and we expect a 12-month construction period. This area was impacted by the flood of 2015, and when that flood came through, we had a lot of destabilization, undermining of foundations, um, also a lot of erosion and sediment that accumulated. From the, from the flood. There were a lot of public safety issues, uh, walls were coming down, so we actually had identified this as a high priority project. For example, right there at Brennan and Trenum Road, we have a dry cleaner there that was right on Penn Branch and highly impacted by some wall um, issues, so we were able to go ahead and move that forward. That project came in around um, $2.3 million. We were able to get it quickly and work with the business owner um, to get that wall reestablished. A lot of constituents actually have their houses back right up to Penn Branch. That's why it is such a critical uh, stream for us to make sure it's stable and we are able to address the vegetation, trees falling in, um, sediment, and walls that have undermined foundations and cracks. We want to address all that. 